Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be on this makeup look right here. This is my go-to work look. So I'm on my way to work. If you are just now joining my channel, I post two to three times a week. You can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, both Sierra Cone, which I will put up on the screen for you. And we can jump right into the video. I'm starting off by priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape and Light Sand, and I'm just buffing that on with a damp beauty blender. Now taking Anastasia's Contour Kit, I'm taking that light pink shade, and I'm going to take a big brush and just pack that onto my eye to set with powder after putting the concealer on. Now I'm going in with the Modern Renaissance Palette, and I'm going to start with the shade Tempura, and I'm taking that and doing basically the same thing I just did with the Contour Palette shade. I'm just taking another layer, and I'm using Tempura, and I'm packing that all over the lid on top of where I just put that contour powder onto it. Then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to use the Golden Ochre from the palette and I'm going to be taking this and putting it right into the crease of my eye and I'm going to go back and forth in windshield wiper motions. And I'm just going to slightly pack this so I did do a couple coats of it just to get the color payoff. And now I'm going to be going in with Raw Sienna. And this is mainly going to be focused on the outer portion of the eye. I will be bringing this in towards the center, but I really want to keep that V shape on the outer portion just to make sure that there's a lot of depth when I start adding the next layer, which now I'll go in with Real Gar, which is that really pretty orange shade from the palette. And I'm packing that on just on the outer portion and I'm still keeping to that V shape. Now I'm going back in to the palette I'm taking Vermeer with my finger and I'm just packing this color directly onto my lid and I'm just dragging this out and kind of blending it outward with my finger. Now taking this black gel liner from Senna Cosmetics, it's their smooth line in black. I'm taking this and I'm just putting on a winged liner, which I do have in another video so I will skip this part but I just wanted to show you that this was my next step. Next I'm taking my concealer from Tarte Shape Tape that I used to set my eyes at the beginning and I'm just going beneath my eyes and brightening up and concealing any fallout that I may have had and I'm just buffing this out with the same damp beauty blender that I've been using. Next I'm taking Ben Nye in the shade Fair, it's their setting powder and I'm just going to pour this into the lid which is the cap that came with it and I dip my brush into it or my sponge whichever I decide to use in the moment but I'm just going to take this powder and I'm packing it all over my face to set everything that I've just done. And next I'm going in with Real Gar again from the palette and I'm going to buff this directly under the eye and I'm just using the brush that came with the palette. Now I'm going to go into the Saint and Center palette from Kat Von D and I'm taking my favorite shade from the palette which is Amen and it is the best blending shade that I think I've ever used. I absolutely love it and I use it for everything. But I basically took Amen and I just went completely around just to buff out the line just to get rid of any harshness. Now I'm going to go in with that warm brown shade in the contour palette and I'm just going to do this to kind of bronze and contour at the same time. After blending this color out I then go in with the blush kit from Anastasia in Gradient and I'm taking the shade Vegas which is a beautiful kind of corally color that's in the palette and I use this for my blush and I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and packing this on the apples of my cheek. Sometimes I can get a little carried away with the blush, so now I'm going in with the Kat Von D pressed powder and it's in the shade Light 44. And I'm just taking this and I'm setting my face with it to have a little more coverage that I would like and I'm just going over the apples of my cheek just a tad just to kind of subdue what I just did. Now I'm going in with the Disco Disco. It's a gold shade. It's a very pretty yellow highlight and I'm taking this from the Balm Cosmetics Bon Jovi palette. Now I'm going in with Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick. It's like a lip be gone, but it's in the shade Cult. Because it's the same color as my foundation, I'm going to take the Model Cosmetic Lipstick in the shade Dusk Till Dawn, and I'm going to take that and put that directly over the lipstick I just placed from Bare Minerals, and that's it. This is the finished look. This is my work look. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video.